Hi there! Today I will show you all the most used commands to perform through Slack and some other workflows examples to leverage your workflows within any cloud provider. And these commands are run pipelines and deploy, list all workflows available for the active team, find a workflow on CDO.ai's registry, stop a workflow, and see the commands usage. So let's get started. First of all, you have to be active on the team that possesses all the workflows available. To do that, go to the Slack channel that you use with your team and then type slash ops team switch to verify the current team and then change it if it's necessary. Then you can view all the workflows available by typing slash ops list. Now you can run your pipelines and perform deployments from Slack. In this example, we are going to run this pipeline. This command for the pipeline steps were previously defined on the OpsYAML file, which you can learn more about it in the video or documentation that are linked below. Once this pipeline is running, you will see its status is updated on the platform and you can follow its progress on the log messages. This will be synchronized with the platform so whenever the pipeline is completed, you will see its output either from Slack or the platform, and you will be informed if the pipeline was successfully completed or if it has failed. For both scenarios, you can check the logs by clicking on this button or from the platform directly. Now the same approach can be applied when you run a deployment. In this example, we are going to run this command slash ops run deploy. Same thing here. All the steps that are prompted to our developer were also previously defined on the OpsYAML file. You can follow the progress by checking its logs when clicking on the view logs button. To find the workflows under CDO.ai's registry, type slash ops search and click on the ops registry website button. You will see all the workflows already created for that current team. To stop a running workflow, type slash op stop and you will see a message informing who stopped it and which workflow has stopped it. This is important because you might have multiple workflows running simultaneously in a real environment. And if you have any questions about the comments usage, just type slash ops help, then you will see the correct way to use each one of them. The four basic workflows are deploy, which you already know, the destroy, that will destroy the infrastructure on any cloud provider, the setup, which will set up a new infrastructure on any cloud provider, and vault, to manage your secrets and configs under CDO.ai's vault. To learn more about each of the workflows and other features, such as the team's management, see the videos and documentation linked below. If you would like to get started with CDO.ai platform to optimize your developer experience using a customized developer control plan, visit CDO.ai website to start workflowing. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.